This is a video everybody's been talking about, our passage from Vanuatu to Australia. There were so many twists and turns and so many things that happened out there that I just couldn't possibly get it all into one video. So I've made two, part one and part two, and they will be released close together. So you won't have to wait too long. So sit back and enjoy, and you better hold on. It's a pretty wild ride. We leave Vanuatu with Cyclone Lola right behind us. But two days into our passage, Rob is struck down with a virus that leaves him unable to leave his bed. So I'm faced with sailing Jago through the sea and navigating through New Caledonia Reef. So we're just back at immigration and we're trying to get clearance today because there's a cyclone coming and it's heading straight for Port Vila. Cyclone Lola is predicted to be a direct hit to Port Vila and is a Category 5. Yeah, so there is a cyclone coming and we are waiting to clear out and we're going to head for Australia. Sadly, we didn't make Tana and we're not going to make um, New Caledonia. So, yeah, we just have to... Um, we were actually not prepared. <laughs> Had to clean the boat because to get into Australia, we've got to clean the bottom, we've got to get food, and we've got to fix the sail. So much to do. Everybody's leaving. There was four other boats checking out today, and we need to get back to Jago to start preparing. Okay, so we've just checked out, and we have 24 hours to leave the country. All these guys are leaving as well. But we have a lot of jobs to do before we leave. I have to go get food, have to cook for the passage. It's seven days at sea. Oh, I have to patch this mizzen again. And we have to get under the hull and clean the bottom. We've got to clean the boat, make sure we got rid of all our food that can't go into Australia, like rice and stuff we're not probably going to eat by the time we get to Australia. Make sure the bills are clean, all the floorboards, everything's clean. Australia is the toughest country to, uh, to get into with um, biosecurity. Mm, that storm is gonna, that cyclone is gonna hit here probably Thursday. So I just hope they're all okay. Our last night in Vanuatu, We've got 24 hours to leave. We've got clearance today. So tomorrow we're off. We've done a load of stuff. We still need to fix a sail, which is a mizzen, and just bring the dinghy up on deck and we're all good to go. And that cyclone is over there. No wind yet, it's really calm. Anyway, we just come up, did a dive on our hull and cleaned all the hull to get into Australia. <sighs> Just having some dinner. One last swim. One last swim in the South Pacific before we go home. Oh, sad. This is hard though. Yeah. Jago, yeah. <laughs> but there's a cyclone coming from over there. <laughs> so, here we go. <laughs> You're bringing the flag down. We left, left the country. Day one. And it is, we left about 10 o'clock. And it is Saturday today. So we're officially left Vanuatu. And the cyclone is over there. We'll be past Newcomb by the time it's apparently going to hit Vanuatu, but fingers crossed it doesn't because um, yeah, it can be quite devastating to their country and to their businesses and the villages. We've got Mizen up, we've got the Main and the Genoa all sails up. And they're going to run for it back to Oz. And we've got company. We've got an unexpected buddy boat over here. I did see them check out yesterday with us, there's quite a few. And uh, they left 
the same time we did today. So that's nice. Um, I think they're going to Bundaberg. We're going to try to go to Brisbane, but if we get a bad angle, we'll just have to go up to Bundaberg as well. So we'll just see what the breeze is doing and because uh, it's going to be very windy, about 40 knots as we enter uh, the Australian waters close to the, the Australian coastline, which is not going to be fun. It's five o'clock and we've just had dinner. It was delicious. We had um, honey soy chicken, which I sort of prepared, but then I just add rice and veggies and whatever I want. Makes it easier. The repair I did today on the leech on the mizzen is holding up. And it's been a beautiful sail. We left this morning, had a swim before we left. And it's been a really nice sail. The sea state is pretty good, pretty flat. Um, not a lot of rolling, which has been really pleasant. No seasickness, so we've been able to eat and just do normal stuff. I did some yoga and we read and just got about to watch a movie on Netflix. So yeah, that's day one down. And uh, probably all up, we've got about seven or eight days to go to um, Australia. Oh, look, Rob's reading a book. You'll smash that out one day. Actually, he's the fastest two reader ever. <laughs> two days. Oh, you can do better than that. I've never known anyone to smash out books so quickly. We've just got the Genoa up and the Mizzen up because we find we put the main up, it just blankets the mizzen and it starts to fold back on itself. It's just been a beautiful downwind sail all day. And I think and I hope this will last until we get to the top of New, uh, New Cal. And from New Caledonia, I think we're gonna have a bit more of a reach. That's my prediction. Anyway, I think we're gonna get a really nice sunset too. Okay, it's Sunday morning. Sunday morning? Yeah, yeah. day two. And what do we have for breakfast out in the ocean? Um, fruit, yeah. oats, homemade yogurt. Oh, no, I bought yogurt. that yogurt. Um, what else have we got here? Healthy. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. We had some toast when we first woke up because, I don't know, this is day two. Day two is always not the nicest day. I don't know, just the morale and just, you know, I know, you just feel crap. We've done 158 nautical miles in the first three hours. That's right. 158 nautical miles so far. And we're about to reach this, uh, well, not about, probably tonight, we'll reach this first reef in uh, New Caledonia. Uh, so that's pretty good. And we've just been trucking along at the same pace, really, seven knots with 18 knots of breeze on a broad reach. It's just stayed the same. Yeah, no main, just a missing in the Genoa. Yeah, and pretty flat seas, so she's moving along. But once we get around that reef, we will be going a bit faster because we'll have a bit more of a reach. But pretty good seas out here. So we've had a really nice sail today. Still flat sea and still a broad reach. But we're just coming up to this reef. We're in New Caledonia, the northern end, where all the reef is. <laughs> and we've just got to go past this reef and then we'll be going into a channel past a whole bunch of more reef. And the bad part is my skipper has fallen sick and he has some sort of flu or virus or something. It's only day two. And it is five o'clock and yeah Rob's really sick so I've given him Panadol, I've given him quadruple, quadruple cold tablets this afternoon um yeah it's pretty bad I've got about 20 to 23 knots of breeze and we've been doing around about averaging seven knots so I don't know how much sleep I'm going to get tonight but I hope he's feeling better tomorrow Anyway, I'm just going to get past this reef and down through the channel. And then by tomorrow, we'll be going through more reef. 
and I had a look at the weather and there is a cyclone still forming and moving quite quickly and we'll be here a lot sooner than what we expected so we definitely need to be on the other side of New Caledonia just took away um, by tomorrow Rob's gone to bed, he's really sick. And I'm just about to go past this uh, reef that you can't see. It's on my port side. And um, looks like I'm going to be up most of the night sailing this boat. As soon as we get around this reef, I'm going to have a bit more of a beam reach so I'll be able to get the main out. It's about 25 knots, so I might not put all of it out. And I'll keep an eye on that Genoa and if it reaches 27, I might even reef that. Yeah, so I'm the skipper of the night and I'm a lot more conservative than what Rob is. And that's okay. I know my limits. shift all night. Rob is so sick. And um, beautiful morning. Anyway, I've just been uh, navigating the boat and we're coming up to a reef uh, to get out the other side of New, of, uh, New Caledonia. So I'm just trying to navigate that right now. Um, and I just slept on and off, had an alarm on, so I could keep an eye on traffic, tracking, and then go back down for another half an hour, sometimes an hour. But there's been nothing going on out here, so I felt pretty safe. Um, we've had 20 knots, 25 knots of breeze all night, and doing about eight knots, seven knots. So we're going along really nicely. And yeah, I hope he's feeling okay. It's pretty bad. He's, his sweats broke last night. Um, but he's, he can't even see. His eyes are so sore. I can't look at the screen. Good morning. It is Monday morning, about five o'clock. And Rob has been in bed all night and I've been a legend <laughs> and I've been uh, skippering all night just taking uh, naps throughout the whole night uh, using an alarm so I do like half an hour an hour just depends but tracking along pretty good I just hope I don't catch what he's got some sort of virus or flu, it's not good. So now I'm wearing, having to wear a mask. Because he's so sick. I think he might have COVID, I don't know. But anyway, hand sanitizer. Mask on when I go below. You don't want to get sick. Not out here. We've still got two reefs to get through yet. Anyway, that's what the time to get sick. Oh my god. Well, the sun's going down and it's about five o'clock. Rob's still really sick, so this will be my second night just um, single handling the boat which hasn't been too bad except tonight we'll be going through the outer reef and i have to navigate all through that and yeah just gotta be really careful 
Right, I've got all sales up and we've just been doing seven, seven knots all day. It's been really nice, just a broad reach. I'm hoping I can get more of a beam reach once I get through um, the outer reef. I can get a bit more of an angle. And I just hope to God I don't catch what Rob's got because it's put him out completely. Like he can't even see straight, he can't put the screen. He's not eating anything. It's pretty bad. But luckily it's been really nice sailing, really good wind. It hasn't been a hard sail, so i am able to rest heaps today. Ready for tonight. So we're sweet. And it's not too rough, it's beautiful. No seasickness, which is good for me anyway. Sailing into the sunset, heading for the outer reef now. We're about, should arrive there about two o'clock in the morning. Still got a broad reach, a little bit lighter tonight, it's about 14 knots. And we're doing around about six, six to seven knots. But it's pretty flat, flat sea, so we scoot along pretty nicely. We're not getting pulled up because of the size of the waves and then slowing us down. Good morning, Tuesday morning, seven o'clock. We've been out at sea for four days. Rob's been sick. This will be his third day sick. We did do a four hour shift last night. It gave me a break. And we're just coming through the last of the reef on uh, the western side of uh, New Caledonia. And now it's a straight line to Brisbane. Look at this beautiful flat sea. I think it's because there's reef around us. We have a lot of protection at the moment. It's just a beautiful, gentle 13 knots of breeze, being broad reach. We're doing about six to seven knots. It's going to be a beautiful day. Blue, blue skies and sunny. Very nice. And that cyclone over there, right behind us. Blue sky. Cyclone Lola hit Vanuatu um, Tuesday night as a Category 5 and then was downgraded Wednesday morning as a Category 3. It didn't make a direct hit to Port Vila, but it did make some terrible destruction up in the northern end of the islands in Vanuatu. Tuesday, Rob's still sick. <laughs> oh. He's getting better. Uh, oh. Is it day three? Yeah, we're on day three for your sickness. He's hanging in there. At least you ate today. You did eat something. That's good. Well, it is a Thursday morning, about 8.30. And it's a flat sea. But we also don't have a lot of wind and we're motor sailing. Yesterday, I didn't film anything because I was sick. Yep, Rob gave me his sickness. Anyway, I had a good night's sleep and I feel okay today. And we've got the main and the genera. The sad part is we've had a really great sail all the way through, but we're going to be sailing into five meter waves and 40 knots of wind. So that's what we've been weighing up what we should do, whether we should go into Bundaberg, whether we pull in a Fraser, we've got all these options, but um, just throwing around ideas, but it looks like we're going to try to get into Top End of Morton, pull into Yellow Patch, drop the anchor in there. And then wait to daylight to try to get around the corner but it's going to be big seas and surf i'm not looking forward to it but we've had such a great run if 
only we were one day earlier. That system in front of us and then there's this cyclone behind us. I feel like a meat sandwich. So we're not too far off of Australia. I'm saying that we're 203 nautical miles off uh, the Queensland coast, Morton Bay. But there's also a low pressure system coming up the coastline and it's going to hit us tomorrow. And so we're trying to outrun that now. So we weren't trying to outrun a cyclone, now we're trying to like get into us into the bay before it gets really bad. And here's the thing, we're punching against a lot of tide. We've got up to nine knots over water, but only 5.9 up over ground. That's pretty bad. And we've got two sails up and the motor running. Anyway, we've both been really sick. Um, but we're coming out the other end of it now. We're feeling okay. Luckily for us, we had such good weather. Mm. And I know. Like for six days or seven days, we just had like 15 to 20 knots on the Flat deck. water. It was just beautiful. So yeah. I was on the deathbed for about three of those days. I know. And, and now then you got sick. I got it. Last night I was sick. Today I'm feeling okay. But we have to be okay to get into Morton. It's going to be, yeah, we're going to be terrible. Five over five metre swells and up to 40 knots of wind for the yeah. last 10 or 12 hours just to get into the bay. Yeah. It should be, once we get into Morton Bay, it should be not as strong and swells mm. are and we did look at lots of other options, but... Um, we even thought about diverting to Bundaberg. Yeah, Fraser. Hiding behind Sandy Cape and Fraser Island. But you've you've lived in Moreton Bay all your life and you know it really well, so... Yeah, it's not if we can just get idea, in there... It's going to be a long way from idea. Yeah. But yeah, if it was... Because we know the bay so well... Yeah, you wouldn't be doing it otherwise. Even when it's at its worst, we sort of know what to expect, mm. rather than going in blind. Yeah. Yeah, we so definitely wouldn't be doing this if we didn't know Morton Bay. But anyway... No, probably. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. We've got to try to get into Yellow Patch. It's the um, top end, the north end of Morton okay. Bay. Just yeah. Once and we get there, we've got options. Yeah. yeah. But it's not going to be fun. That last 10 hours is going to be... I know. People will be smashing to wind with hardly any sail up. Yep. In big waves. In big waves, yeah. And probably seasickness. <laughs> I don't think we'll be seasick. We'll be out there. We'll be terrified. Yeah, like they say, no, this is I think 98% more than 2% terror. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And this is our 2% coming up. Yeah, but it's been... Like we said before, we were just having a chat about, let's just put it all in perspective here. We have had like a week of just glamour, glamour trade wind sailing. Just beautiful. You don't have to adjust anything. You're so reaching mm. along. We've just been set and, and forget, yeah, really. Yeah, reaching along. We've been averaging seven and a half, eight months, like, like for days and days and days. Yeah. Yeah, it's been really nice, but um, anyway, it's all going to come to a crashing end. <laughs> so we'll keep you informed. Tomorrow's going to be very entertaining. In the next episode, part two, is the video everybody's been asking us about and waiting for. So hold on, because it's a pretty rough ride back to Australia.